It appears to be a probe, Captain. Probe? From an intelligence unknown to us. Continue transmitting universal peace and hello in all known languages. Get me Starfleet Command. Ready, Captain. Starfleet Command, this is USS Saratoga patrolling Sector 5, neutral zone. We're tracking a probe of unknown origin on apparent trajectory to the Terran solar system. Attempts to communicate with the probe have been negative on all known frequencies. Continue tracking Saratoga. We will analyze transmissions and advise. Roger, Starfleet. Saratoga out. Uh, track the probe. Track the probe. Ah, check that probe. Check the probe. That is a probe. There's a lot of talk about probing. What the hell are they talking about? Right? So, so the house, the house, uh, the house, house panel launched a bipartisan probe of big tech powers. Wow. <clears throat> I support Trump on this. Trump said it the other day. Trump came forward and said that the DOJ with uh, William Barr, they're going to probe big tech, namely Google. It rocked a lot of the uh, tech companies, but so what? So what? Google lost a couple of billion dollars in fake money, and Apple lost a couple of fake dollars in fake money on the, on the stock market, right? So probe them, man. Break them up, right? They're taking away a First Amendment right, right? A lot of these companies, they, they're, like, they're like judge and jury, right? right? All of their, all of their uh, algorithms are clearly rigged, right? The, the algorithms are rigged in the sense that 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 the mainstream media gets in front of people like me, for example, and I'm just I'm not I'm not I'm not fighting. I'm not saying, oh, look at me, how great I am. I should be in front of them. I say that that there should be a fair uh, and equitable search on a platform that is supposed to be fair and equitable, a real search engine. Remember, that's how Google got their start, right? Google started as being a a fair search engine. It was a search engine where you would go and you would search, right? And you would find the shit that, that was that you were looking for without a uh, without a, a, a bias, right? So so these so these so I support Trump in probing that. Now the the argument will be, oh no no Trump stole our idea. Because right? the House is now uh, doing a probe into big tech power. So let's give you the headline. And then and then Trump will say, no 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 I had the idea first. And they'll they'll piss back and forth about who came up with the idea. Nonetheless, the idea is on the table. So we we salute you for those about to rock. We salute you. After a bloodbath in tech stocks today, uh, driven by the FTC and DOJ's investigation that was released on Friday, the House Judiciary Committee has just piled on, announcing a bipartisan probe into whether large tech companies are suppressing competition. <laughs> is it even, is it even questionable at this point? Right, they're all fighting. They want see. They they say, oh no no, the big tech is supporting the liberal media, and the the uh, the Republicans will say, oh no no, it's it's supporting the liberal media, and then the liberal media will say, no no no, it's supporting the conservative media. Uh, they're, cons they're supporting both of those knuckleheads in exchange for independent media, which is what we want, right? So antitrust subcommittee will conduct a top-to-bottom review of market power held by giant tech platforms. This is the first time Congress has undertaken an investigation into this behavior, right? So here's the three probes. <laughs> the three, the three-prong probe. Documenting competition problems in digital markets, examining if dominant companies are engaging in anti-competitive conduct. When you rig a, when you, God damn it, when you rig a search engine, it's, it's engaging in anti-competitive conduct. You're putting other, you're taking other people and, and putting them into the front of the line. Assessing whether existing antitrust laws, competition policies, and current enforcement levels are adequate to address these issues. Hmm. They are not adequate. They, the, the existing antitrust laws are not adequate. Right? Enforce them now, but you have, to, you have to up the ante to the point of, I love the idea of capping the amount of money. Um, Amy Klobuchar brought that one up. Cap the, uh, the acquisition. Uh, so a company, if a company is worth more than 100 billion dollars in market capitalization prevent them from 
acquisitioning other companies less than them, right? So for example, Google's $800 billion corporation, right? Publicly traded. They would fall into the category of not being able to acquisition any new companies because they have exceeded their, their threshold of $100 billion. That's a great idea because, again, companies like Google, they're not going to necessarily compete for the idea. They're going to buy the, the idea outright and then control that idea. For example, YouTube. Right? If that law was in effect, Google wouldn't own YouTube and YouTube would continue to be a competitive, legitimate search engine. But again, because of these because of the inability to enforce antitrust laws and, well, also another way is to tax them, right? You just, you increase their tax. Anything that brings them down to size is a good measure. Antitrust law, it's a one-two punch. Antitrust law and then tax them. Fucking tax the shit out of them. Bring them down, right? Bring them to their knees, right? So these, this is all good stuff. So the future is private. <laughs> That's the Facebook guy saying that shit. The government, the federal government may be warming up to antitrust enforcement machine, pointing it at big tech. On Monday, Judicial Committee, I think this is repeating, Committee announced a sweeping antitrust probe of unspecified technological companies. All right, well, Trump went right for Google. Trump said it. Trump said, Google, come to me, Google, come to me. In a statement, it promised a top-to-bottom review of the market power held by giant tech platforms, which would be the first such that Congress would ever undertake. So this is good. So you've got the DOJ, you've got the executive branch now, and the uh, you know the legislative branch, Congress, right, looking at it. It's bipartisan, meaning that if they get a probe going and and get a can draft a law, Senate would likely sign it. Maybe we'll see it in our time. Break up big tech. They, they could have done this with Big Bank. They could have done it with Big Pharma. See, that's why antitrust law is good. But it, the, the probe of, of big tech is really no different than the probe of big oil or the probe of, you know, the military, big, big military, right? Or uh, any of those, any big industry, big pharma. Uh, it's no different. You have to you cap them all, right, from the acquisition. Like a guy makes a drug a pharmaceutical company creates a drug, and then the big pharma, like, you know, fucking bare aspirin comes in and buys it out, right, and controls the market. That, that is the fundamental problem, right? So te- probing big tech is a good thing, but don't stop there, guys. Don't stop there. You're on to something. So, um, so that's, that's the big probe, right? It just also, Trump did something very interesting, right? Trump turns from uh, business to he's in he's he's basically in in England right now, schmoozing, schmoozing right with uh, with the Queen and the King, you know the Prince of Prince Charles, right? Here he is. Right? So go on. Inspecting the troops. Trump's like, hey, where'd you get that hat? Hey, do you think I could get one of those hats from for, for, for Melania? So there's Trump and in, in schmoozing it up. Here's, here he is with the queen. Queen's showing him pictures. Schmoozing it up, right? But there's more to the story. Trump wants to uh he 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 told he told uh uh May right, to Oh, fucking, he told this chick, right? He says, well, you may. Stick around, man. Theresa May. So stick around, man. We'll cut a deal. <laughs> Just get out of Brexit. So, so Trump is Trump is like, look, he's fucking, the big, look, the salesman, the snake. <sighs> ah, see, they lean on, on people when they're down, right? How come you didn't come to them when, when they're up, right? Fucking, so... So here goes, Theresa May is going out the back door by the end of June because she couldn't get her people a Brexit deal. And Trump steps in, right? Mr. fucking, Mr. Bankrupt steps in and says, stick around, <laughs> right? And try to, because, because look, the, the trade, you're, uh, 
Britain is going to be a little bit fucked until they get a better trade deal, uh, a trade deal at all with other nations, right? They got to cut those deals. So Trump sees that as an opportunity to get in there and make, you know, make a deal. Let's make a deal. He never says what the deal is. He just let's make a deal. Fuck you, come on. Yeah, so I don't, I don't have any uh, faith in any of that shit, right? Really. <laughs> Uh, and of course, uh, all the guests, Come on, Teresa, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. Chump style. Chump, fucking Trump deal. Man. What else we got here? So that's really it. What else we got? Oh, and Beijing, right? So let's talk about that for one second. See, the deal with, with China is a little different, right? China's, China's interpreting this trade war as a, a real war, an act of war. Right? It is an act of war. Uh, and they're they're now because Beijing and because China is a, you know, a communist quote whatever that means country, they are propagating the people to go against the American people. Right? That's what they're doing, right? Beijing warns tourists about risks of traveling in the U.S. Now I live in New York, right? There's fucking Chinese people everywhere. Do you think anybody? That, that a Chinese person is more at risk now in the U.S. because of Trump flexing his muscles over a trade deal? <laughs> no, not at all. But that's what they're telling their people. Beijing has taken its warnings a step further, issuing an official travel advisory highlighting the risks of traveling in the U.S. Uh, there you go, man. So uh, China, China's foreign minister and its embassy cautioned travelers to raise their safety awareness in response, quote, actively and appropriately to harassment in the form of immigration checks and home interviews. There's just no way that, that a, uh, a tourist coming to the United States from China is going to be subject to home interviews Maybe immigration checks, but that's a different subject, right? Is it a different subject? Is that the subject? Is uh, is Beijing right in saying that the U.S. is because they're in a trade war, they're going to harass people with immigration checks at uh, JFK when they fly in? It could be. I, I highly doubt that, right? Again, I know a lot of Chinese people. I know it's just you know, I have some Chinese friends looking into it right now. Because they listen to the news in Chinese, and especially in in, tai, in Taiwan, where you get it's in Chinese, but it's not. It's kind of an opposing view of China because tai, Taiwan is is uh, is is declared independent from China. So, and the U.S. Trump is actually doing the right thing with by Taiwan because he, they're flying reconnaissance into the South Sea between Taiwan and China. Um, giving Taiwan uh, the backing that they need to be, you know, especially like Taiwan was just uh, having protests or demonstrations over the uh, Tiananmen Square incident in China. And in China, that's illegal. In Taiwan, it's perfectly legitimate. And China doesn't like that because China thinks Taiwan is China. And Taiwan has a difference of opinion. But uh, I digress. So Secretary of State Mike Pompeo urged Beijing to, quote, make a full public account accounting of those killed or missing. Uh, that's, that's regarding the Tiananmen Square. No, no, no. The, the, yeah, after the 1989 massacre. Right? Is that what it was? Yeah, Tiananmen Square. But anyway, so I, I digress on that. Um, so what's going on here? So, so... The probes, right? There's, there is probe. We are probing, right? We're probing big tech, right? And meanwhile, Trump is really shaking it up. He's, he's shaking it up in India. He's got a, in Mexico, the tariffs. China is not taking it sitting down, though. That's, that's the difference right there. But probing big tech is a big move, right? And again, don't stop there, Trump. Keep going. Keep it going, man. That'll make that your legacy, man. You, you probe, fucking, you probe the motherfuckers, right? You probe. Put some probe music. What do you make of it? What do you make of it? It's a probe. It appears to be a probe, Captain. It's a probe. From an intelligence unknown to us. Continue transmitting universal peace and hello in all known languages. 
Get me Starfleet Command. Prowl. Ready, Captain. Prowl. Starfleet Command, this is USS Saratoga patrolling Sector 5, neutral zone. We're tracking a probe of unknown origin on probe. a current trajectory to the Terran yeah, solar system. Attempts to communicate with... Probe, right? That's what it's all about, man. I love it, man. I love it. Trump, Trump's a hero for a moment, right? He's going to keep starting wars and all that shit. He doesn't know his ass from his elbow in terms of health care. And uh, tuition, the college tuition, fuck you. You want to go to college? Go go wash dishes and then you then someday you could go to college. Someday you could be Trump. Someday you could be just like Trump. Marcus Conti reporting. Become a uh, Patreon and also don't forget to subscribe. Hit the subscribe button.